So I'm going to start off with one poem, one poem I, I, I have here, and I'm going to go to my phone and read another one. And before I forget, I had, I had brought uh, some paintings on the back table over there. I put them on the back table. There, uh, there's a pile of five dollar paintings and ten dollar paintings that I mean, that I'm selling. I'm selling. Uh, if anybody wants to see me after the uh, the overnight, uh, I am also I was also a uh, beat poet, but I'm not a, uh, a beat poet laureate. I'm also a beat poet, so I am in the beat poet family. My first poem was called High School Hell by Nina Hall Nichols In a room down the hall, there are many desks from wall to wall. In, this, in the seats where students sit was once a boy who could not sit. Because of some people, that's where he fell. He was only trying to make it through high school hell. Looking back, that's where he fell, back in the pits of high school hell. And he wonders what it would be like if he didn't fall. The little autism boy who no one would listen to with his back up against the wall. But his life be different and swell. I guess some things you can never tell. Because he was just trying to make it through the dark times of high school hell. Looking back, that's where he fell in the dark times of high school hell. Bear with me one second. I'm going to look up a quick poem that I have to. So this is a poem I, I, I'm, I'm hopefully going to have for the next uh, the next goddess anthology with the, Beat, the National Beat Poetry Foundation. This was for uh, a very talented singer and uh, song uh, songwriter. She, you know, for some of those who don't remember Isan, who was part of the Northwest Arts Council for a little bit, I had wrote a poem for her. So this is my poem called Isan that's going to hopefully be published for the next goddess anthology. Yoga class instructor. Northwest Connecticut Arts Council member and conductor, a fine talent all around. She is a singer, a beautiful singer, whose voice can lift you off the ground. She's got that soul, she's got that jazz, and the fact that I didn't get to know her more, it's too bad, because she's one fine artistic woman and an artist and creator. I still would like to, would like to get to know her more before she said, see you later. But now the chance might never come to be, so many people come and go in our lives who we maybe don't get to know personally. <laughs> this next poem is called The Dream by Nikon Nicholas Ursa. The life I had to see, I guess it's just a dream, the girl I never see but only in a dream. I wish I could find someone and be. The life isn't always what it seems to believe in yourself and to achieve your dreams. I guess that's what I guess we'll never see what it is. We are and hope we dream. The only way to be free, free from the pain, free from the fear, free from the sorrow that I hold dear and there. I guess it's just a dream. I guess it's just a dream. I guess it's just a dream. I'm gonna make this my last poem. This last this is my last poem, I'm gonna call it for this is an empty cup by the common or something. It's time to grow up, it's time to grow up, no more waiting to fill your empty cup. Is it me or is it your luck to have something in your empty cup? What was, what was found was not yet begun, but yet the earth was around before the earth began to spawn. I want you to wake up, I want you to wake up. No more waiting to fill your empty cup. Is it me or is it my luck? Time has moved on now, you can't give a fuck. So but what is with this empty cup? You will never know now, so just give up. Were you some girl who just wanted to fuck? Just move on now and let him find his luck. He already knows the love will fill his empty cup. He's already gained his life back and wished you good luck. 